start the week off here. We've got the skitter in tow. Of course, Kenny and Kevin are behind me and the ram with the skid steer and the ranger. We're headed up here to Monagano Springs, Missouri, right on the Osage River. One of my favorite areas to work in. I don't work up here that often, but uh, I always enjoy getting to work up here. we got a little track of white oak we're going to cut. Uh, not a big job, but uh, they look like decent trees. The landowners are from out of state, California to be exact. They own the land. They contacted me. We walked through and cruised it about two or three weeks ago. Uh, struck up the deal, sent the contract off, got the timber paid for. And I was going to wait to cut it, but I just feel like this is a job we kind of kind of need to get cut, get cut in a hurry, because it, uh, it can be a rough area up here. It's kind of the welcome sign there. Although I, I don't ever know how welcome you are up here, this part of the world. Uh, this, this is a pretty neat area. It's full of history. Uh, of course, uh, there's a big cave up in here and the landowners claim the big cave is on the property we're going to log. I've never been to it, both my uncles have been to it, a lot of my friends have been to it. Uh, it's one of the caves supposedly Jesse James used to hide out in. The Youngers are from this area, the Younger Gang. They uh, used to hide out in that cave. Uh, just a rich history from the steamboat days running up the Osage River. This was a big destination, the little community of Monagot because of the springs. So it really is a neat area to work, and it's uh, full of white oak up in this country. Really about all there is, white oak, a little bit of red oak, hickory, stuff like that. Uh, not really known for any walnut up here, but you get up here off the river, it's primarily white oak. All right, we're ready to go here. I start off the way I always do. I like to start off a new job with a new chain. Kind of thing I like to do. Kenny. Is there pushing out a spot to deck logs and try to make a landing? Kevin's right there next to where there's there's kind of a whistle there, uh, an ent entryway, and we're parked on a different entryway in this truck. Of course, we just got the western star pull off the side of the road. Now this road just dead ends down here, uh, so there is not a lot of traffic on this road at all. That's why I, I'm parked there the way I am at the kind of the top of the hill where I can be seen both directions with traffic. But again, there is not a lot of traffic on this road. I know gravel roads that have a lot more traffic than this little stretch of blacktop here. So we're going to get started, start getting some of these on the ground, get them ready to load out. They're calling for rain here about any time, so I don't know how long we're going to get to work today. But, uh, we're going to try to make quick work of this job. We want to get it all done, knocked out this week. Uh, got a lot of hauling, got long hauls. When we leave here, we're going to go home, take the wagon, or excuse me, take the panel hitch, unhook it, and hook up the wagon. And uh, we might possibly try to haul a load of stave logs tonight. I don't know yet. I didn't film much yesterday after getting here, as you can imagine. But uh, this is a pile of stave logs right here. Uh, the pallet I went ahead and hauled it home when I took the truck and pinnel hitch home and hooked up to the wagon. I'd planned on bringing the truck this morning to get a load of these stave ready to haul out. Uh, Brandon's actually going to do some hauling for me this week. So I'm going to get him a load of stave that's ready to roll. And some of these need to be cleaned up just a little bit. But uh, There's some good stave in here. Then there's some stave that's not so good. Some of this timber's cutting pretty good. Some of it's pretty ornery. Hopefully the further back we get where we're at, uh, it'll start cutting a little better back on that better slope. But it's just going to be me and Dad today. Dad should be here shortly. Uh, of course, I don't ever like leaving equipment and stuff by the road, so I kind of got the ranger blocked in here with the tree, you know, with the skid steer and the skidder, and everything's locked up. But I still worry about stuff because we've had stuff tampered with before. It's never a, never a good thing, but we'll go ahead and I'm going to move this skid steer, then I can get to the ranger, then I'm going to go back and do some cutting. It kind of rained and dreary all night of course you might know we get up to a job like this and turn off wet it uh, definitely doesn't help things any uh, good good young crop of white oak trees coming on this uh, timber should have been harvested several years ago what we're cutting now so you can see i think this was the first tree i cut yesterday it had a hole in it there uh, of course that thing there it's bad in the bottom there's just a lot of ornery trees uh, this this thinning again it should have took place years ago but 
we're happy to be doing it now. property here in a decent little grove. See some dead ones here. That's uh, getting to be a pretty common site for the white oak timber up here along the Osage River and places even back in Cedar County where I'm at. We've come across a lot of that dead white oak, red oak timber in the last few years. Uh, one thing, since it is summertime, it's a Fiji water bottle I've reused, but this stuff here, this liquid IV, if you guys sweat like I do, I sweat terribly uh, when I'm out here cutting. I, I give it all I got. Uh, this stuff here, it doesn't taste terrible, but the one thing about it, it keeps you going. It's full of uh, electrolytes and stuff, that liquid IV. For one of these one liter bottles, I'll mix two of those in there. And uh, definitely I, I can see a little better difference in drinking that than I can Gatorade or any of that other stuff. Uh, I think the Gatorade's a little sugary. Uh, the Gatorade light's not too bad, but uh, I try not to have too much sugar, just uh, get back what I need, and this stuff here definitely does it. So I'll drink a few of those a day, and that keeps me kind of, keeps me going a little better than without, because uh, it's not full on summer yet, but it might as well be in this thick vegetation. Horrible, horrible cutting conditions. The ground's a little soft. to him, drop him, climb a little higher, and then winch again. Normally we would just grapple these and run right out of here. It's a little steeper than it looks, but still not that big a deal, but the ground's just so soft from that rain we've had, and our log roads have dried up pretty good today, but stuff in here where it's still kind of shaded a lot of these oak trees here a lot of them are dying uh, it's still not uh, drying real good there's some big tall things they went all the way to the bottom this has been a terrible terrible timber stand as far as quality definitely not a money maker here so again i'm gonna state that uh Kind of got the big eye on this job when I looked at it. After the last job of white oak we cut, I looked at this and I'm like, all right, I kind of know where I need to be. We got in here. <clears throat> uh, most of these things have cut terrible. Very few of them have cut good. Uh, <laughs> needless to say, this is one of those jobs where I lost a little money on it. Uh, you're going to have those every now and then. Uh, we try not to have them at all but it's just the way it goes sometimes. I should have known and I was hesitant about timber in this area because we've cut some jobs up in this area that have not cut very good at all. So I should have went with better judgment on that, but uh, you live, you learn, that's all you can do. Even like this guy right here, see he's got several problems with him. We got mineral there in the sap line. We got some dote starting in the heart. And uh, this is one of the better trees. Like I said, if you look at a lot of these tree tops here, a lot of these trees are dying. Uh, that's the north or the south facing slope right there. We're on the north facing slope down this draw. So just, uh, and we left several trees, uh, a lot of young trees. It's not like we went through here and butchered it by any means. Uh, we bought 90 trees and I think by the time it's said and done, about 87 is what we're gonna cut of those 90 because some of them are just, they're not even worth bringing down after sticking a saw in them. Uh, just leave them for habitat trees. It's just a, just a rough timber stand. It should have been harvested years ago.
and making the mess. That's it, last drag of the job. Not even upset about it usually. I'm upset to see a job come to an end. Not this one. Let's get up there, get them worked up. Brandon should be up here now, if not any time to load up state. He's been tripping for me today.